Hi, welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our second Stellaris Chronicle, where we're playing as the Commonwealth of Man. And it is a crisp negative nine degrees outside right now. I'm thankful to have functioning heat and a roof over my head. It's always something to be thankful for. Okay, I just got the timer going. Let's do this. So, where we left off in the last episode was me starting to get a little bit excited and peaked about the progress of our uh, civilization. I say civilization, I, I've never, I'm not a civ player. Uh, that's just a word that I, comes to mind for me. But um, I've never really gotten into Civ. Anyway, that's really kind of unrelated. Sometimes I do, I have squirrel moments. But um, our economy is starting to come online. Really starting to come online. We're starting to put up these science stations now uh, so that we can catch up. We're really, really behind in that. So we'll hit unpause. We'll click up to speed two. We have... Uh, Gained all the territory. Well, no, that's not true. We're going to get here, too, I think. we got to make sure there's about this. Uh, we're going to get some physics research Science from that. Reports a new breakthrough. What did we learn? Unlocks clearing the blockers. Uh, clearing tile blockers. Ocean ecology management. Given enough processing power, networked sensors, and distributed stations, even the ocean currents can be managed to a fine level of control. Very good. Uh, I haven't been reading about these. Let's see what we're studying. The latest generation of Corvette hulls have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads. I did read about this one. Let me look at researched for a minute. We've read that. This was further study into the hazardous environments found on other planets help alleviate the difficulties that colonizers encounter in their day-to-day -day lives on foreign worlds. So I think I've read that or these adaptation ones are always the same. Um, as extrasolar expeditions become more common, it is important to provide planet side relief for returning fleets. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've read all those. I read the UV laser. What about the destroyer? While larger than Corvette's destroyer, hull configurations still make for comparatively nimble gunboats. Oh, I researched robots. I must have done that on accident. Because I wasn't going to go with robots. Was I playing around with it? Maybe I last couple episodes I might have decided... No, I was going to go... Oh, no, 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 my bad. Um, I've got another series. I'm, I'm thinking of my United Nations of Earth. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, we are going to go after what? Probably eco-stimulation. Farming techniques can be further refined through sophisticated computer simulations of different environments and weather patterns. This allows for more predictable crop yields. Okay, we'll grab that. Now, speaking of robots, do I have these things down? We will put one right here. And we do already have jobs open. Okay, uh, Corrigan has tiles that can be removed. All right, a little bit of a rough start. Sorry about that. I'm having to remember some things. This construction ship is standing by, waiting for this system to be completely surveyed so we can make sure there's no lurking threats before expanding our borders. up to 
plus 95. Winged statues. Nope, I don't want anything to do with this. This land has been budgeted for other purposes. As far as I know, the payoff for that, it looks dismal to me. If you guys know otherwise, or there's a set of circumstances where you might want that, please do leave a comment. I mean, I suppose I could Google it, but I'd prefer to hear from somebody who's watching my episodes. Kind of fosters community involvement, you know? We're at plus 60 with our credits now. Those trade stations are really kicking in. Special project complete. Where are you at, science ship? Okay. What level are you? You're level six. Go here instead. Uh, we're up to 103 on science. They're still marked as overwhelming. They are still superior. And we are still uh, in the number five slot, which is where we were last time. So we're, we're gaining though on the Dabulan Empire. We're about a thousand behind them, which is significant. A uh, thousand? No, a hundred, which is not significant. <laughs> All right. The Bruven Consortium is way out in front. Unity can build something. Completed. Okay, we can do a couple things now. Let's see. Housing is looking okay. Uh, we need to keep the commercial goods. I always call them commercial consumer goods. Let's see. We're looking good here. What else can we put down? We have a. Uh, well, do I turn this into an admin world or a research world? I think I would go admin. And even that's just to kind of play around with it. I really, I've been pretty, I've been told, and, and the internet has provided multiple sources, but I've been told by a viewer that this, this really is kind of worthless. I think it's just something I'd like to play around with. I might do that in this episode. I might wait until a Roman Empire playthrough where a huge administration makes more sense. Yeah, maybe I'll wait for that. Because this empire here, we would be very efficient about things, I think. Or we would strive to be very efficient. So a sprawling administrative network I mean, don't get me wrong, there can be a lot of red tape in the military, but ultimately it's about putting steel on target. So the mission in the field is what takes priority. In other words, it's a results-oriented business. Business, maybe that's the wrong way to phrase it. I'm sure some people will find that to be a platform to make some comments on, but um, it is results-oriented. Um, let's, for right now, let's put up civilian industries. Because we're, we're a little low on that. And we are trying to specialize, but in the early game, you really just kind of need to take what you, you need to put up what you, what you need in the moment. And then 
you kind of reorganize everything later. Okay, so I have Thebes is set up as a rural world. I don't think that's going to be the case. And Corrigan is an aggro world right now, but it's... Reports enemy contact. Yeah, that's a problem. Alert all commands, deploy the fleet. All right, hit pause. So piracy is going to be something that we have to deal with in the short term until we can expand our starbase capacity and get a anti-piracy station up. Okay, this you are not going to be a rural world, but neither are you going to be an agri world. Um, what what do I get from you? Farmers output plus twenty percent. So you'll stay that way for right now, I guess. And you, I guess you'll stay that way for right now also, but I believe those are going to be my consumer goods and my alloy foundries, a uh, forge world and uh, industrial world. I'm gonna need a research world pretty badly. Okay, that's right, I got piracy. Um, this science ship can They can't get to Deneb right now. What's the strength? 346 versus 1200. Actually, we could just send Nova. Nova can take care of that. Send the cruiser with Nova. Construction complete. It's making a neat looking symbol. Seems to be taking some time to get here. We'll get society and engineering research out of that event. Gosh, guys, how many jumps were you away? Two jumps. Complete. Two jumps out. So they're one jump now. Who's in the lead? The cruiser. Research station lost to enemy action. Huh. All right. Come out here, Fancor. but going after them. Nice. And the pirate station was ready. We get 100 credits and 180 minerals. We can bring... All right, we got a few things to do now. Um, number one, you have to RTB. Nova also needs to RTB. You build mining, build research, build star base. You
take care of that. Whoops, uh, you. No. Research this project. And you are supposed to, I need you to come down to Deneb and assist research on Unity. Okay. So piracy reports the new breakthrough. Piracy will likely be an issue until we can get another station up. Um, capacity. So global energy management has been researched, and we will get plasma thrower. I think. No chemical plants. Oh, there's a few to pick from here. Let's grab quantum energy states. Technically, that's the lowest ranked one since we're ahead a little bit and we're we're trying to make sure we stay uh we're trying to bank up on uh on credits because we're going to be building these research stations which is going to eat into our credits potentially heavily i'm not sure how much it costs to run a station but it's there's a cumulative effect there We're gaining on the Dabulin Empire. Strike the Earth. After various exploratory drillings, our science team located multiple underground passages belonging to an elaborate cave system of apparently artificial origin. It is impossible to estimate how far it reaches. All right. Begin that excavation. Construction complete. All right, now we will take care of this leg. Well, we have two engineering here. Maybe we should take care of down here first. Military ethos is leading as far as faction influence. And they also have the most people. They're granting us the most influence. They, oh, but this one has the most uh, approval. Which one is this? Oh, uh, the xenophobic ethos. Special project complete. The truth of the Laid's demise. Our scientists have managed to decipher a key entry in the data cores. In it, the Laid habitats are still whole. Hundreds of them of various sizes can be seen orbiting the gas giant, which does not have a ring in the pictures. The Laid's in the pictures appear to be attending a public ceremony. A large crowd of them are in a public arena, staring at a screen from which two Laid's are talking. Although it is difficult for us to read Laid emotions, they appear calm, even upbeat. This is it, one of the Laids is saying. We have discovered what we came here for. We have found out the meaning of life and death itself. We know now who we are, where we come from, and where we are going. The other, that's just a made up accent, it's not supposed to represent anybody. Uh, the other Laid spreads its arms. We made the part now in peace. It says, it says, the beyond has no hold over us anymore. The Laids in the arena cheer and appear to be celebrating as the habitat suddenly detonates. No sign of panic can be seen before the recording cuts off. 
Rather, the layage show a strange mixture of serenity and ecstasy. We can only assume that the Laids believed, rightly or wrongly, that they had uncovered secrets of their life and afterlife that sufficiently shook the foundation of their society, that they came to the collective decision that there was no further point to them living and they should expedite the conclusion of their life cycle. Man, this is some um, drink the Kool-Aid kind of June Jones. Is it June Jim Jones? I don't remember. The cores maintains much further data. The many remnants in the debris field have not yet been cataloged, meaning that this site will provide us with further insights into the Laid's curious civilization and its achievements for years to come. What do we get? 981 Society Research. Alright. Corrigan. Corrigan can... Add Add a civilian industry right now. I was thinking about adding a hollow theater because we're at Neg4 here, but Neg4 is really not bad. And I think I want to plus up our consumer goods so that I can be con begin converting Unity into uh, probably a research station i don't i don't know the thing that bothers me about unity is that you don't get any bonuses so maybe i won't special i mean we, we can put refineries up there i don't know maybe i'll put everything else that we wouldn't special project complete we wouldn't specialize in elsewhere although you can make a refinery world but uh there's a methodology from colors fade gaming that i want to try out he says if you put one refinery of each type on every single planet you have you'll be good to go so i don't really know how wise that is to take up three slots on a specialized world but i'm willing to give it a shot all right we're gonna we're gonna take this crystalline study here I mean, honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think I might want to just have a refinery world, but it's circumstance driven. How many planets do you have? You know, a refinery world is kind of at the bottom of my list. I want forge worlds. I want industrialized worlds. I want raw material worlds. So like rural or generator or agriculture or uh, mining. I need science worlds. I would want uh, I, I, the idea of having a specialized military station world appeals to me, preferably on a site that uh, is at a bottleneck, but can't always get those conditions. After following the largest of the winding tunnels for quite some time, the expedition finally found definitive proof of this place having been constructed rather than being a random natural occurrence. Before the scientists, the tunnel abruptly deepens into a quarry-like pit. A stone plate with unidentified writing on it marks the beginning of roughly hewn stone stairs. These stairs lead down on one side and up again on the other, leaving an empty floor dozens of meters long in between them. While crossing the pit, science officer Eomame Yamashita uh, spotted a hidden pressure plate. Oh no, this is going to be... I've, I've seen this before. This, this could kill a whole slew of scientists. <laughs> After a quick investigation, it was revealed to be part of an elaborate trap mechanism that would have, if activated, flooded the entire pit with lava. The team is on the lookout for similar traps deeper within. We will continue. What level is she? She is a level six. That's good. I think whenever you have a low skill level here, this particular event chain will just massacre a whole slew of your scientists as they fall prey to these various traps. Construction complete. Oh, we had lost a scientist. Pause it. 
recruit anomaly research speed 35% plus 35% less meticulous than others. Eh, maybe I'd prefer to have the leader lifespan. No, 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 not excavate. Research. You are not experienced enough for excavation. Oh. What have we learned? We got uh, food from farmers is increased by 20% and we learned the advanced Corvette holes. Now we will go after... I'm gonna... Typically I don't, I, I don't take this. But if I do wind up having a military wor uh, world, then this might stack with the bonus from the military world and really help our naval capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And then our engineering, Dr. Bauman, I need you to unlock afterburners. Now, I didn't read either of those. There are many alien empires who would gladly seize our worlds for themselves. We must be prepared for them, should the worst come to pass. Well, that's, that even lines up with us role-playing-wise, so we're definitely going to do that. Afterburners. These powerful thrusters provide additional combat speed, but consume a great deal of power. Okay. Station reports enemy contact. Well, probably a pirate. We're at. Oh. Shardlings. Where are you guys coming from? It's like they just show up. I don't know if they're uh, blinking in, you know, like teleporting, or if they're just going past our defenses or something. Well, they're stronger than our stations, so... They're gonna win that. Uh, science ship... You are a... What level are you? Oh, you died. Oh, shoot, man. Um... I'm going... To, uh, level three... How about you? What are you? What are you researching? Physics. Well, what are you? Oh, you're commanding. I'm going to grab you. I want to cycle you in. You will continue to excavate this site. What were you up to? What did I have you doing? You were on your way to uh, Deneb. So I can have a low level person there. So we will recruit and grab this 38 year old and then tell them to continue to Deneb where they will assist research at Unity. Okay. Yeah, I don't want inexperienced scientists on these dig sites. Nationalist agitator on Thebes, although I think I have one right here. 
What level? Yeah, level one. Gosh, that's... But I don't have her excavating either. Okay. As our people begin stepping out into the stars, many have begun to wonder what do we do when we find other life? On Thebes, this topic has become especially prevalent in public discourse. This is mainly due to a certain passionate orator called Song Deng whose speeches against all aliens have enraptured the new colonists so much so that they have begun to call him hegemon and follow his advice, even before that of higher human authorities. Fortunately, he has taken pains not to be seen to be usurping our local authorities and has consulted them before making important decisions. For their part, our local officials approve of his teachings and initiatives and recommend integrating him into the local command structure. Planetary hegemon modifier added, giving the following effects. Immigration pull, neg 50%, and immigration push. So the first immigration is how many people come to your world. The second immigration is how many people leave. I, that's one of those things with American English, or maybe it's just English in general, that it's like, who chose to do this? <laughs> you know, why would we have two words that seemingly are, they're in a related field, but mean opposite things that sound exactly alike? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> and um, happiness is going to go up and xenophobe ethics attraction is going to go up 150%. We have an unemployed and nothing I can really do about it. So let that ride. Oh, you know what? Special I need to. Complete. I'm going to need to pre stage my Navy right here because they're all traveling at different speeds. Orenthi is secured. The small rodent-like creek. Yeah, but whatever. We got a. We got somebody for the zoo. How long have I been recording? Okay, we're at 32 minutes. Um, the science ship. Well. I guess do nothing really. Ah, oh, here we go. Get that project. Get, get a little bit more experience. All right. Um, we will save this game. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thanks for coming by the channel, and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.